In the world of motorsports, few events capture the spirit of adventure quite like the Paris-Dakar Rally. The genesis of this epic race traces back to 1977, when a Frenchman named Thierry Sabine found himself lost in the Libyan desert during the Abidjan-Nice Rally. Instead of despair, Sabine discovered a sense of exhilaration in the vast untamed wilderness. He envisioned a race that would challenge competitors not just in speed, but in endurance and resilience. Sabine's vision materialized into the Paris-Dakar Rally, a grueling open race that welcomed anyone daring enough to traverse some of the world's most challenging terrains. The inaugural race kicked off on the last day of 1978, stretching into the early days of 1979. The original route was a testament to the adventurous spirit Sabine intended for the race. It started in the heart of Paris, France, and ended in Dakar, Senegal. The journey spanned nearly 6,000 miles, crossing eight countries and a myriad of landscapes. Competitors faced the harsh realities of the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert in the world, with its unforgiving sand dunes and extreme temperatures. They also navigated through unpredictable terrains of rocky hills, arid plains and dense jungles, testing the limits of both the man and machine. The Paris-Dakar rally was not just a race, it was an odyssey that tested the mettle of its competitors. It wasn't about the fastest car or the most experienced driver, it was about endurance, determination and the will to keep going, no matter what obstacles lay in the path. The first race saw a diverse group of competitors, from professional drivers in state-of-the-art vehicles to amateurs in everyday cars, all sharing the same goal, to reach the finish line in Dakar. The unpredictability of the race and the sheer determination of the competitors made the Paris-Dakar rally an instant sensation. So began an annual event that would captivate audiences worldwide and test the mettle of many brave competitors. As the 1980s rolled in, the Paris-Dakar rally saw a decade of dominance by some of the biggest names in motorsports. As the dust from the 70s settled, the 80s brought a new wave of excitement in the form of Ari Vatanen and Hubert Oriol. Vatanen, a Finnish driver, showcased an unmatched mastery over the terrain, his driving skills leaving spectators and competitors alike in awe. His four victories in this decade established him as a force to reckon with in the rally world. On the other hand, Hubert Oriol, the French sensation, carved his name in the annals of Paris-Dakar rally history. He was the first man to win the rally on both a bike and in a car, a feat that speaks volumes about his versatility and prowess. Oriol's triumphs in the early 80s, first on a motorcycle and then behind the wheel of a car, were nothing short of extraordinary. The 80s also brought in a new dimension to the rally with the introduction of the truck category in 1980. These mammoth machines with their towering presence added a new layer of complexity to the race. The truck category offered unique challenges, as navigating these giants through the treacherous terrains of the rally was no small feat. Yet the sight of these behemoths barreling down the dunes became an iconic image of the Paris-Dakar rally. This decade was indeed a time of giants, of men and machines that dominated the rally scene. The stories of their victories, their challenges, their sheer determination in the face of adversity, these are the tales that make the Paris-Dakar rally what it is today. The 80s were a time of change, of evolution, of setting new standards. The 1980s truly set the bar high for what was to come in the Paris-Dakar rally. With the dawn of the 1990s, the Paris-Dakar rally entered a period of significant change. The world was evolving, and so too was the rally. The early part of the decade saw an unexpected interruption. In 1991, the Gulf War led to a temporary suspension of the rally. It was a seismic event that underlined the harsh realities of the world outside the exhilarating world of motorsport. Yet the rally's spirit remained undeterred. As the dust settled, the Paris-Dakar rally was back on track, but the routes were not the same. Security concerns began to shape the course, leading to new paths and uncharted territories. The rally, known for its unpredictability, embraced these changes, proving its versatility and resilience. The 90s also ushered in the age of technology. In 1992, the rally introduced GPS technology into the mix. This was a game-changer, transforming navigation from a complex art into a precise science. It was a bold move that reshaped the face of the rally, bringing it into the modern era. Amidst these changes, new champions emerged. The decades saw the rise of luminaries like Eddie Orioli, who left his mark with multiple victories. Yet, perhaps the most significant achievement of the 90s was the victory of Judah Kleinschmidt. 
In 2001, she became the first woman to win the rally, shattering glass ceilings and proving that the rally was a test of skill, endurance and determination, not of gender. The 90s were a time of transformation for the Paris-Dakar rally. It was a decade that tested the metal of the rally and those who dared to take on its grueling course. Yet, through every challenge and change, the rally proved its tenacity. The 1990s proved that the Paris-Dakar rally could adapt and thrive in the face of change. The new millennium brought with it fresh challenges and victories for the Paris-Dakar rally. The roar of engines and the thrill of the race were constants, but behind the scenes, the rally began facing new obstacles. Safety, always a concern in any motorsport, became an even greater priority. This was not just about the drivers, but also the spectators, the support teams and the communities along the route. The rally had always been about overcoming difficulties, but now the difficulties were not just sand dunes and river crossings. They were about ensuring that everyone involved in the rally, from the drivers to the spectators, returned home safely. These increasing safety concerns led to significant route changes with organizers meticulously planning each stage to minimize risks. Then, in 2008, the unthinkable happened. The rally, known for its resilience and adaptability, was cancelled due to threats of terrorism. It was a blow to the rally community, but it was a necessary decision to ensure the safety of all involved. But as with all challenges, it also brought about new beginnings. In 2009, the rally found a new home in South America. This move not only provided a fresh start but also introduced new terrains and landscapes, pushing the drivers to their limits and beyond. And amidst these changes, racers like Stéphane Peter Hansel and Cyril Despress emerged victorious, proving that the spirit of the rally was alive and well. Peter Hansel with his unmatched navigational skills and Despress with his unwavering determination became symbols of the rally's resilience. Yet these victories were not just about the individual racers, they were a testament to the collective spirit of the rally community, a tribute to everyone who had faced and overcome the challenges that the new millennium had brought. Despite the challenges, the spirit of the Paris-Dakar rally remained unbroken. It continued to inspire, to excite and to remind us all that no matter the obstacle, the race must go on. In the 2010 S and beyond, the Paris-Dakar rally entered a new era. A time of significant change and adaptation, the rally proved its ability to evolve and thrive amidst the shifting sands of the world stage. As the decade unfolded, the rally's nomadic nature continued to be its defining characteristic. The course weaved its way through South America, exploring the challenging terrains of Argentina, Bolivia and Peru. But the year 2020 marked a significant milestone. The rally moved to a new playground, the expansive unforgiving landscapes of Saudi Arabia. This move signaled a fresh chapter for the rally, offering new challenges and opportunities for both drivers and spectators alike. But the changes were not just geographical. The rally also saw a shift in the vehicles themselves. The introduction of the classic category gave vintage vehicles a chance to relive their glory days on the rally tracks. This move added a nostalgic touch to the race, allowing us to witness the enduring power and elegance of these classic machines. Moreover, the Paris-Dakar rally has always been more than just a race. It's a testament to the spirit of adventure, the will to overcome, and human resilience. And in this new era, the rally has also become a platform for promoting sustainability. The focus on eco-friendly practices and the introduction of hybrid and electric vehicles reflect the rally's commitment to reducing its environmental footprint. As for the competitors, this new era has produced some remarkable champions. Drivers like Carlos Sainz and Toby Price have etched their names in the annals of Paris-Dakar history with their impressive performances and indomitable spirit. Their victories are a testament to their skill, determination, and the relentless pursuit of excellence that the rally demands. As we look to the future, the Paris-Dakar rally continues to be a testament to the spirit of adventure and human resilience. And as it charts its course through the unknown, we can only watch in awe and anticipation of what the next chapter holds. The Paris-Dakar rally has been, and continues to be, a unique spectacle in the world of motorsports. Over the years, this remarkable race has carved out its own distinct path, evolving and adapting to the changing tides of time. From humble beginnings as a daring dream in the late 1970s, the rally has journeyed through the dunes of the Sahara, the mountains of South America, and the vast expanses of Saudi Arabia. Each new landscape brought fresh challenges, 
but the resilient spirit of the competitors matched every trial. Their tenacity, coupled with the rally's adventurous spirit, has cemented its status as an enduring spectacle, captivating audiences and competitors alike. The Paris-Dakar rally is more than a race. It's a testament to human endurance, a tribute to the relentless pursuit of exploration, and a thrilling testament to the unyielding spirit of competition. From its origins in the Sahara Desert to its current routes in Saudi Arabia, the Paris-Dakar rally remains a thrilling journey of endurance, resilience, and unyielding spirit.